George R. R. Martin continues to chip away at the conclusion of the sprawling fantasy epic. George is still hard at work writing The Winds of Winter, the sixth installment of his Song of Ice and Fire series. If all goes well, it's expected to be released at some point next year. In the meantime, Inverse is analyzing the ways in which The Winds of Winter might actually improve upon some of the more underwhelming, and disappointing, aspects of Game of Thrones. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Enter Samuel Tarly. Perhaps one of the most quietly brave and kind characters in all of Game of Thrones, Sam is akin to the Harry Potter series Neville Longbottom or Lord of the Rings' very own Samwise Gamgee. He's honest, intelligent, and loyal. However, Sam is often relegated to the background. That's because he'd rather spend his time reading a book than wielding a sword. Despite playing second fiddle to Jon Snow, Sam has his own ambitions and learns to defend himself and others without remorse. Save for a few shining moments throughout the HBO series, like surviving a run-in with the White Walkers, Game of Thrones largely avoided developing Sam's storyline. There was a long build-up to his training at the Citadel, but it was all over in a flash. It's an oversight to be sure, especially considering the character's resemblance to his creator. During 2014 San Diego Comic-Con, he said, Tyrion might be who I want to be, but Sam is probably closer to who I actually am. The last we saw of Sam in the books, he was still grieving the loss of his mentor Maester Aemon, but he had finally made it to the Citadel to study to become a Maester himself. Now, there are a couple of paths Sam may take in the winds of winter. Will he go on to become a maester, or else stand at the center of a powerful prophecy? Either way, the next novel has the opportunity to make Sam a far more relevant character than Game of Thrones ever did. Rather than let Sam study at the Citadel, Lord Randall Tarly disinherits his son and sends him to serve with the Night's Watch. Sam spent years feeling small and useless because his father looked down upon as cowardly, calling him a disgrace to the family name. Randall even told people that Sam was dead after he took the black. However, a long-running fan theory imagines a deeper reason for Sam's inability to fit in with House Tarly. He's Aegon Targaryen, the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. This turned out to be Jon Snow's secret backstory in the HBO series, but Jon's parentage hasn't been decisively resolved in the books yet. Of course, Aegon is believed to have died during Robert's rebellion, killed by the mountain. The theory suggests Aegon was smuggled out of King's Landing by Varys and given to Randall to raise, because the Tarleys were devoted to the Targaryens. In Martin's books, young Griff is currently co-opting the name Aegon, though plenty of skeptics in Westeros aren't buying what he's selling. Sam being the true Aegon could explain why Tarly was so cruel to his son and sent him to the Night's Watch, where he bonded with Maester Aemon. Rhaegar preferred the arts to fighting and Sam very much fits that description. With all that in mind, it's possible that Sam will rise to prominence to become the long-prophesied hero of the story rather than simply its messenger. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.